Hi, Jeff Williams back here with the next section of assembly here, which is putting this horizontal stabilizer in. Here's the elevator that'll connect app up after everything's dry. So I'm going to remove this. And uh, this is keyed here uh, into here. So there's very little room for mistake. Um, I've already uh, done an initial alignment on it, but what you want to do is uh, I put the wings on and then I slide this in and I'll get up about five feet in front of it, check it for alignment, get about five feet behind it, check it both ways. That's why I want it propped up. It's a little easier to see. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that this horizontal is exactly parallel with the top and bottom wing. If it's not, okay, just take something with a little weight, um, maybe like a little glue bottle and set it over here and get it down or maybe set it in a little closer if you don't need it to be down that far or whatever the case may be. Uh, you could also take a piece of blue tape, tape it up here and uh, pull this side up or this side up as the case may be. I'd also recommend take a quick measurement from this front here to uh, this aileron tip right here. Not the aileron, but the uh, wing at the tip where the aileron and the wing tip are. Uh, because the aileron can move, it'd be better use the wing uh, and then check each distance there and make sure it doesn't need to go this way a little bit. Uh, just because it's uh, laser cut and keyed doesn't mean it'll be exactly perfect. Chances are it is but it's better to be sure. Now, uh, the CA hinges, they're just loose in here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat all of that with epoxy in here. I recommend 30 minute epoxy. Uh, other glues would work, CA would, probably would work, but uh, I don't think you're gonna get as good a joint, uh, uh, as, as strong a joint using CA. Uh, I would use a slow dry, uh, type glue like 30 minute epoxy or maybe even yellow alphatic resin glue would work too. And the reason being is again, you want to check that alignment. So you're going to push it in, get it all aligned and let it set in place overnight. Now, if you're insistent on using CA, uh, what you can do is um, get it in there and then let it flow in. Uh, it's a lot of risk of it running all over and stuff. I, I'm just not really a big fan of it, not saying it won't work. Okay, so um, that pretty much um, covers the uh, horizontal stabilizer, this little key part in here. Um, you'll have to take him out before you put it in, and then when, uh, when you get this all dry, you're going to put the elevator on uh, using the same CA hinge uh, techniques that we did on our wings in the earlier video. Once the elevator's on, then this little guy goes in, uh, and you can use CA or epoxy on him, doesn't matter. And then after that, um, we're going to put the rudder on. And of course, we already had the tail wheel on, and that'll have a little screw that'll go up in the bottom of the rudder. Then after that, the uh, servos and the push rods and control horns and all that go in. And we're coming right along on this project. Hello again, uh, back with the uh, some of this final assembly on this uh, horizontal stabilizer and elevator. Um, again, make sure all my CA hinges were half in, half out. Uh, use the same techniques as on the wing, just a small drop of glue on the side there to hold it. Then I slid my elevator on and deflected it. Top here I hit with uh, a drop of uh, CA down through it, flip the model over, hold the, the surface this way, drop a little bit of glue and uh, drop a glue in there along on all the hinges. Let it dry, uh, it doesn't take long, and then make sure this is real, uh, real free, okay? And, and it is, you can see it's, it's pretty good. So, and then uh, we had this, uh, let me get the model turned around here so I can show you this little uh, uh, filler block that's on there. Uh, tip that up, this little guy right here right there that little guy right there uh, he slides out uh, remember in an earlier video i wrote when you slide that out i marked the top and the bottom now in this particular model it can flip either way some of these are tapered now this one is tapered but at that point it's not tapered enough to really make a whole lot of difference but go ahead and keep it in there like it is uh, and then i just took some thin ca 
and went around it and hit it and uh, it looks like it's in there real nice. So again on this uh, muscle pipe you have to put the horizontal stabilizer in first, then the elevator, then the filler block and next will come this rudder. Now on this rudder some of the uh, cautions of it are um, in the assembly manual we have to go ahead and install this tail wheel. Once we're done the main landing gear we do the tail wheel. Uh, you wouldn't have had to uh, in this particular instance but the thing I want to be able to make sure of is when you put this on um, you know and of course we're going to do all the similar techniques with our hinging that we've already talked about but when you get this on you want to make sure you have just a small gap up here and that it's sitting on top of, the, of this uh, tiller arm down here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that right there, that, that tiller arm. Uh, maybe my fingers weren't in the way, right? Um, this tiller arm on this has got a little screw. I got it blue taped on there so I don't lose it. Um, and that's gonna go in the bottom up through here and into the bottom of the rudder. And of course you'd wanna make just a very, very small hole in the bottom where it's gonna go. Um, and my technique on that is wherever that screw is going to go, I'm going to uh, use a very, very small drill. And uh, because this is a small screw, I'm going to put uh, a hole in here, pre-drill it so I don't crack the balsa. Then I'm going to take my thin CA and I'm going to throw a uh, couple drops of thin CA down there. Uh, and, and then I'm going to put that screw on there. Now before uh, we do that, we're going to you know, make sure that everything aligns up here and we're going to uh, again check that it's sitting on top of this and that I have clearance up here with my counterbalance and then I can move it all the way full deflection and uh, uh, full deflection will probably be basically hitting the elevator okay or right at it. Um, so we want to check that and then once you have that you know turn the airplane on its side deflect the surface, drop your CA, uh, let it set for about a minute, flip it over, attach it on the other side with a CA and it should be good to go. And once again, if it gets stiff, you should be able to rock it like this. If it's still stiff, make sure this guy is free. This guy should be free. Um, should be no, no binding there either on this. So that pretty much will sum up the entire epinage, okay? Um, next, we'll be going to the installation of our servos and push rods in this segment. Hello, Jeff Williams here with a wrap up on the uh, tail of the muscle bite. And uh, now you can see my servos are installed. Uh, these were high tech 7245 servos, metal gear, high voltage. Um, I'm gonna bring in the camera here. I'm gonna let you take a look at uh, what, I, what my final installation looks like. And uh, so let's uh, get this bent over here and come in and see if I can show you a few things that uh, I'd like to point out here and kind of give us a um, nice little look at this. Um, but uh, anyway, you can see here is my elevator, uh, the servo. Uh, both servos are oriented forward. Um, over here is the uh, rudder. And uh, I use the um, inch and a quarter arm for, from uh, Extreme Flight. This is what they look like. Uh, that's it right there. I use the middle hole. Um, there's uh, three holes out here, and I use the middle one. Uh, that's seemingly give me plenty of throw uh, for what I'm wanting to do with the airplane. It's not a 3D airplane, so therefore we don't need... Um, maximum throws but uh, anyway they I found the middle arm to give me plenty of throw but uh, just to give you a look at uh, what I came up with on the end result here in fact I will bring it in a little bit more here and we can put this in there to uh, you see the tail wheel moving with it and stuff so anyway that's what it looks like uh, nothing real complicated pretty simple uh, install very uh, nice hardware included with it. And um, so as I wrap up this segment, I hope this has helped you uh, on your muscle bike or maybe another airplane that uh, has a similar setup to it. 
And uh, once again, we thank you for purchasing your Extreme Flight product. And we'll see you around at the field, hopefully. Thank you.